2022-2023 Select La Liga Soccer. One Hobby Box Random Pack Break number one. Let's go ahead and get these packs all stacked up here. This is a brand new product that just came out. Got another one on the website. I got boxes available. So if you want a box, I got you. If you want to get in on the pack breaks, I got you. All right, let's just get these all stacked. All right, so pack number one would be up top. All the way down, pack number 12 down here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down. 11, and then 12 all the way at the bottom. Those are the packs. So we're going to random up the names, paste you guys right in here to, to uh, determine the pack order. So here we go. Pack order on. 4 and a 1 is 5. Pack order on 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. D Finley with the first pack. Ricky with the last pack. That's how it falls on the order for the packs. Four to one, five times. That was on five. I've got to write people's names down on some team bags real quick. These are a little bit quicker than the Don Russ. The Don Russ, unfortunately, but being just a one box break, they still take a little bit of time to get through a lot of cards. This one will be a lot faster. I'm interested to see. Okay, I didn't spell your name right. Couple bigger teams coming off the board here in uh, Revo. So we should be ready for a filler in Revo here shortly. Dynasty and Revo. Okay, the Pacers in number. Wait, Pacers in number three? Can I get Pacers in three? Oh, somebody already had them in two. I got you. Pacers in three. Pacers, Pacers, Pacers. Pacers in three, save that. Uh, I did not look at my P.O. box, so I'm sure they're probably chilling in the P.O. box, but. Um, so I haven't, but if, if the tracking says that they you deliver that, that that they got delivered, then yeah, they're probably just chilling in my PO box. Yeah, there's a lot of cards. I got to go through all those cards. It's going to be fun though. All right, a lot of Revo orders coming through still, guys. So make sure you're in on the Revo if you want in on that one. Likely a filler getting dropped here pretty soon. I do have a Don Russ soccer box that's sold out. Kind of focusing in on the new releases for the time being, but maybe we'll do this. Drop a filler on Revo. Get back to that or. Maybe Dynasty's ready somewhere in the mix. Trying to pick up this wrapper with my foot. Probably not the best. There we go. Got it. It's two packages. Right on that. All right, so first up, D. Finley. Good luck, man. Got a numbered card right out of the gate here. Some sort of rookie prism and then a purple. Oh God, I have no clue how to say these names. 73 out of 75. I, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be even worse for me with this cause it's not like, I don't think the checklist is gonna have like anybody that I know, like, you know, Ronaldo or Messi or Holland or now I'm really at a disadvantage. Can't lean on the top guys. Frank S. Pack number two, Frank. Wow, another numbered card. I think there is quite a few numbered cards in these boxes. Oh, Messi is in it? Oh, okay. Well, okay. 
Okay. A red. The reds are not numbered. Field level. Pink rookie. Pablo. 11 out of 25. FC Barcelona. Frank S. Let's go, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, Barcelona rookie number to twenty-five. Seems seems like something to get excited about. Is that the only pack you got in this frame? Okay. Okay, up next. KD is up next. Got a thick pack here. He got a thicken. Oh, he got a thicken. Oh, KD. Thick in number to 20. One out of 20. Oh, it's a thick autograph. It's tie-dye auto. I don't know why they had to make this one a thick one. Very interesting. One out of 20. Yeah. That's weird that that one's so thick. Alrighty, pack number four. Zebra, what the hell? We got a blue that's not numbered, Gutierrez. And a zebra to 25, Baba. 15 out of 25. Zebra stripe, yeah. Tie dye and select is always fun. Up next, KD back up, pack number five. Yeah, well, these packs seem loaded here. Another thick one here. Another thick in here. Number to 25, another thick autograph. Got a goalie auto. I think you get three hits. Typically, it's probably two autos and a memorabilia. That's probably how it breaks down. It's pretty short printed. Highest number. Yeah, I knew it had to, it, something had to have been pretty short print on it because of, you know, the boxes are going for a hefty premium. Um,. I knew there had to be some sort of limited supply on these. It's not like I got that much, but I got more than I do on some other select or some other soccer releases. So I don't know. Either way, if only 700 cases, that's that's not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. Pack six. our first pack with n not a numbered card in it. I believe. Oh, wow, the highest numbered is out of 75. That is crazy. Travis. Pack number seven. Purple to 75, 39 out of 75. Travis. I don't know, Squints. Seems like Fanatics is getting in with all that kind of stuff. I think they just locked in some sort of memorabilia, not cards, but memorabilia deal with soccer. I think they're going to be the number, the the only like the uh, something to do with official, so, something to do with WWE merchandise. Now they're going to be making the WWE merchandise. I think it is. I don't know. They're getting in with these guys. You know, if you have your foot in the door already, it's not hard to kind of tax throw some sports cards on top of all the memorabilia. The you know what I mean. All right, so that was Travis. KD is back up.
Another out of 25 coming up. Holy smokes, boys. Another tie dye or uh, uh, zebra stripe. 16 out of 25. Castellanos. Taddy. Taddy. Tatty. That was KD. I mean, <laughs> I thought I'm surprised that you even took the take of that. I mean, I, I know you were trying to get them, you were trying to push them down to that level, but I'm saying, yeah, unfortunately, they're probably going to get pushed down even even farther, man. Um, Throdi's up next. Um, if you guys, I know some of you guys aren't on social media, but uh, Panini actually filed lawsuit against Fanatics over the past couple of weeks, and I mean not, I mean couple of weeks. I don't, you know, uh, very recently. I guess there's been several, and I mean several. Like higher ranking people in Panini, high ranking executives and stuff that are flipping ship and going to Fanatics, which honestly is probably a good move on their end. Uh, flipping, flipping ship and going to Fanatics. And uh, yeah, but we're not going to talk about that one. Uh, but they filed a lawsuit against Fanatics regarding that and then lost. Um, right? I think, I think that, I think they like filed it and then they already lost it, I think. Um, because they were trying to, I forget the legal nonsense regarding that. All right, throw out East pack. But, um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of executives from Panini are jumping ship over to Fanatics, and obviously Panini's not happy about it. And, um, yeah. And like I said, Fanatics is also... You know, like, f for instance, with WWE... I think one they already have the uh, I think they have the license it was crazy it was like Panini got the license off of Tops, and then like less than a year later Fanatics came in and 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 uh, signed the deal for like after the Panini license is up like they already signed it like it was like crazy it was like a couple months later Fanatics like pretty much got it back so there's only going to be a couple couple years of uh Panini WWE. KD's up next. So. So. It's, uh, it's getting rough out there for Panini right now. The 75 Purple Garcia. This is also healthy. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, things are really, 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 really looking up in the hobby with Fanatics pretty much doing a full-blown takeover. Um, things are really looking up. I think Fanatics is already doing things that are enhancing the hobby. I mean, they have those really cool follow-back cards on, in Big League where if you pull one of those cards, the player will follow you back on Twitter, and those are going for, like, or on Instagram or wherever. Um, those are going for like thousands of dollars. They're doing that debut patch. I mean, they're already being pretty innovative and they've only been in the space not so long. Travis is up next. So I'm excited for the future. And yeah, as much as I want, I, I mean, I as a business owner, you have to fill me out here. What do we got here? Luca. Well, he's one of the uh, like legends for them or something. You know, I'm still in the... I'm still... I can't say, Frank, I don't want to say too much. I'm still in the kind of process of trying to work work with them to, to, to get these products in and everything. So I'm still kind of in the midst of... As a lot of people are in the midst of that. So I can't really say a whole lot. But what I wanted to say about Panini was, and like I said, obviously as a business owner here, you got to hear me out. I want them to do well, even though all these licenses and stuff are still going to Fanatics. And like, I mean, literally Fanatics is going to be making like every single type of card here pretty soon. Uh, Ricky with the last pack. 
I still want Panini to do well. I mean, they still make some products that people like in here. We, we just, we've been breaking unlicensed baseball for how long? Silver. Double jersey. Hey, we got four hits. It's supposed to only be three. We got four. Um... But yeah, I mean, I would like Panini to still kind of be alone, you know, still be here. But honestly, hey, I mean, it is looking rough, bro. I mean, start to think about it. You, the, you're you were going to sell, then you now you can't sell. You don't have these licenses lined up. Fanatics is doing the memorabilia, the jerseys. They're doing all this. Why not go to the guy that does all this stuff? Panini is losing all their executives. I mean, those are spots that are not easy to fill. And then to fill them, and then the, the people got to get up and going with, with it. like, who wants to work for Panini right now that's kind of fallen off a little? You know what I mean? It's just like Panini right now is, like, really, really not in good shape. I mean, they are really, really down and out here. Once you start having top executives flipping, not one or two. I mean, there's, like, 10, 15. Things are not looking good, man. Really not looking good. All right, guys, that was La Liga. What is, all boxes had four hits, two autos and two mem. Oh, I thought it said um, something about three three hits. Uh, select La Liga soccer box number one. Thank you.